Seventh race, one mile on the turf. These are maiden fillies and mares, three-year-olds and upward. Eight runners going to the post. The off-time favorite, number eight, Indian Chaser. And they're up. Indian Chaser broke outward at the start. For the outside, Indian Chaser does go for the early lead. In between horses, Ali Cruz and La Bambicia Emma moves to challenge. Racing in third on the outside is Fabulous Nicole. She's now a joint second, settling in behind the favorite Indian Chaser who has the lead. Ali Cruz is second on the outside. Fabulous Nicole is third. They look like they're going a pretty strong early clip. It's a stretch of two lengths to La Bendicita Elsa, who's racing in fourth. Then it's a length and a half to Kisses for the Cat with Ruby on my mind to her inside. Fast Andrea on the outside and MZ Dancer. Last of all, after the opening quarter went in a fairly aggressive 23 and one. Down the back stretch they go. Indian Chaser has the lead. Leads it by two and a half lengths. Ali Cruz on the inside is second. Toward the outside, Fabulous Nicole is now third. Then it's a stretch of another two and a half lengths back to La Bendisa in Elsa, racing in fourth now. A length and a half in front of Fast Andrea fifth. Ruby on my mind, improving up the inside lane. In between them, it's Kisses for the Cat and still trailing MZ Dancer. Half mile and 48 seconds flat. They leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn. With the lead, it's Indian Chaser. On top by two, they continue to chase. Ali Cruz is the nearest pursuer second. Stretch of four lengths back to long shot La Bendicia Elsa, who's now third. Ruby on my mind is fourth and trying to find clear passage for a stretch bid and they're at the top of the stretch. Indian Chaser well rationed up top by three quarters and 13 and two and still has the lead. Ali Cruz to the attack one more time second. Late on the scene is Ruby on my mind third with an eighth of a mile to go. Indian Chaser still in front. Ali Cruz is second. Ruby on my mind is rolling but out of time. Ali Cruz in time. Ali Cruz wears down Indian Chaser who was second from Ruby on my mind third and fourth La Bendicita Elsa. Number four, Ali Cruz scores, pays $14.40, owned by Santa Cruz Ranch Incorporated, trained by Juan Rizzo and ridden by Jonathan Gonzalez. The eighth race, a one mile allowance optional claimer for two year olds. Seven runners go into the post, the off time favorite, number four, Wild Zambezi. And they're up. Level beginning. Toward the inside, my golden train wins the break and goes looking for the early lead from the heavy favorite, Wild Zambezi, who races up now to be second. Charlie's brother is three wide through the initial stages, racing third. Then it's the Dorachenko stable mates with Kutuzov to the inside of Hero of Humor. They're only about two lengths behind, a two-length stretch to G5, and Lucky Delfino does his best running later, and he's last of all, as Charlie's brother now assumes control. Into the back stretch after the initial quarter went in 24 seconds flat. It's Charlie's brother in front. From the outside, Hero of Humor is now second. My Golden Train backs off to race in third, a length better than Wild Zambezi fourth. Then Kutuzov and G5, Lucky Delfino is last. The top two appear to be quickening the cadence noticeably here as they move past the five furlong marker. Charlie's brother on the inside, Hero of Humor and Eddie Martin on the outside. Now Wild Zambezi has lost ground at every call. He's now back racing second last as Lucky Delfino and G5 get past him and Kutuzov is still trailing the top two by the half mile in 49 seconds flat but they widened the advantage on the closers and the leader is still Charlie's brother hero of humor at 11 to 1 ratcheting up the pressure second everybody else will have to get a move on from there led by my golden train G5 tipped into the clear by Gonsalves in front of Lucky Delfino then to the outside it's Wild Zambezi and they're at the top of the stretch hero of humors by three quarters and 114 and two set sail for the money with a two and a half length lead the danger is G5 5 continues to finish with interest and Lucky Delfino on the outside inside the final furlong. G5 takes charge and moves away. Lucky Delfino trying to catch Hero for a few more for second, then back to Charlie's brother and Wild Zambezi. G5 sharp in victory. Hero of Humor second, Lucky Delfino third, close fourth, Wild Zambezi or Charlie's brother in 141 and three. Number one, G5, trained by Todd Fletcher, comes from off the pace and pays $10.60, owned by Eclipse of Thoroughbred Partners and ridden by Leandro Conclaves. That's his second victory on the card. We'll take a short break and be back for our late Daily Double. Sport of Kings, Florida's most unique venue, located at beautiful Gulfstream Park, has hosted elegant weddings, spectacular concerts, and the grandest of social events. Surrounded by lush gardens, pedestrian promenades, and inviting streetscapes in the signature style of Addison Meisner, Sport of Kings is the ideal venue for intimate gatherings or groups as large as 500. 
Our events coordinators and audio and visual production specialists can customize the room to any needs, while our chefs can create scrumptious menus. For information on holding your next event at Gulfstream Park's Sport of Kings, call our event specialists at 954-457-6186. Welcome back for our ninth race. Seven and a half furlongs on the firm turf course. These are three-year-olds and up, which have never won three races. And one scratch in the race, number two, Count Shandor. And they're up. From the center, Beantown Skipper and Moonlit Park both begin nicely. Down toward the inside, Cesar Run is showing speed. So it will be Moonlit Park and Cesar Run in the early stages. Yankee Kitten comes away in a good spot. Off the speed from third while dropping over. Inside of him is Beantown Skipper with no appreciation riding the hedge. Then it's a length and a half to Wild Kiss in front of Emperor's Tune, who's off the speed today. And trailing the field is Tell It Like It Is Coach. But he's only about six lengths behind as it's a controlled early gallop. With the lead, it's Moonlit Park by a neck. Up on the inside and second is Cesar Run. Perched in the three path in the clear is Yankee Kitten from third. No appreciation fourth. Wild Kiss moves up a bit with Beantown Skipper held up between them. Tell it like it is, Coach and Emperor's Tune are last and second last after the opening quarter went in 24 and 2. There's less than half a mile to go. Cesar Run is into the far turn in front by a neck with Moonlit Park there second. Yankee Kitten just waiting for his cue third. In between them, it's Beantown Skipper now asked to quicken by Masonette racing for Fourth now, a length better than a scrub down Wild Kiss, then no appreciation, and now the pace quickens. They went through the half mile in 49 seconds flat. Moonlit Park trying to get away from Yankee Kitten, who moved to him second. The rest need to do much better, and they're at the top of the stretch. Moonlit Park cuts the corner, shaken up for the drive, and leads it by two. Yankee Kitten to the attack one more time. No appreciation up the inside. Beantown Skipper just offering a mild late charge, and Moonlit Park is still there. Yankee Kitten not done trying. Moonlit Park almost home. Yankee Kitten gets to him now, Moonlit Park, Yankee Kitten, photo finish! Edgar Zayas and Yankee Kitten would not take no for an answer and might have got up in 131 and 1. Number 7, Yankee Kitten wins it with a perfectly timed ride by Edgar Zayas, owned by Kenneth Sarah Ramsey, trained by Wesley Ward. Tenth and final race, one mile and 70 yards. These are claiming events for three-year-olds and up with 10 runners going to the post. Off-time favorite number four, Revere's Ride. And runners away. It was a level beginning. From the center, Chip Tease begins the best and goes looking for the lead. Revere's Ride wants to show some speed today. He'll race second early from Facundo and Love Dr. Bill, who come away third and fourth. To the outside, that's a Rogvi with Super Doc trying not to be hung too wide. He's four or five wide, but dropping over. Then it's Burning Time, second last Ziette Machos, and it's four lengths to the trailer, Winner Jack. They bend around the first turn, chasing the speed of Chip Tease, who leads it by a length and a quarter. In the two-path, while second is Revere's ride, a neck better than Facundo third. Senor Castrico, the fellow gray, has moved up to be fourth, four in front of a rating Love Dr. Bill. Then it's a stretch of another two to Aragvi, who's a length and a half in front of Burning Time. Super Doc is third last and about ten lengths behind. He's two lengths better than Ziete Machos. And Winter Jack is last after the opening quarter went in 23 and 2. They went through the half mile at 47 and 4 here. As they move into the far turn, the pace is a quick one, and the leader is Chip Tease by a length and a quarter. In between horses now trying to get after him. Second, Revere's ride. Senor Castrico is three wide, but moving up toward the inside. Facundo just waiting for room. He's four lengths better than a rally in Garagvi to his inside, and still not without hope here is Love Dr. Bill. Burning time and Super Doc are next, and they're at the top of the stretch. Chip Tease by three quarters in a time of 113 and 4. He's into the drive on top. Here's Burning Time. Time. Swinging into action in the Herald Queen colors, widest of all. Revere's ride is not going down without a fight. This is still wide open, but Burning Time is looping and swooping. He's down the center. He takes charge, and he moves away. Burning Time, very, very nice run here, and he's a nice number. He's a length and a half in front and wide in the advantage. It's Burning Time in the Friday finale for David Fox by two. Second to Rogvi, it's close third. Give it to Chip Tease over Love Dr. Bill, and Super Doc finish fifth to complete your high five. Number nine, Burning Time wins the night cap and pays $110 to win. Owned by Fox Racing and Harold Queen, trained by Dave Fox, written to victory today by Jose Garcia. In the pick four, 4-4, 11-82-70 to pick five, 
four of five, only $66.75. The carryover, $8,038.38. Rainbow six, only five of six, $450.48. We'll have a $50,000 jackpot guarantee going into Saturday's card. And that wraps up Friday's races. Remember to come and join us here at Gulfstream Park West on Saturday. Double stakes action live right here at the track. And, of course, Breeders' Cup races throughout the day, both here and at Gulfstream Park. Gulfstream Park, the most beautiful simulcast center in the world. Silks, you can be here at Gulfstream Park West or at Gulfstream Park. What a day, Saturday. Good night. Good luck. <laughs>